Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to share with you today on how you can get subscribers pretty quickly and for free on YouTube with these 11 ways. And the first thing that I want to touch on is stop hacking and start promoting. So if you search on YouTube how to get free YouTube subscribers, you will find a whole bunch of videos dedicated to hacks and glitches and that sort of thing. And these videos will often be titled, and I'm pretty sure you've seen it, how to get millions of free YouTube subscribers and that sort of thing. So, And they promise to teach you hidden tricks that will flood your channel with subscribers. And the truth is that these videos are all fake and clickbait. And if you're searching for YouTube hacks, the chances are is that you are wasting your time. But if you need organic YouTube subscribers, what I recommend for a new channel is that you need to gain some sort of traction. And without, obviously without the attention of YouTube's algorithm yet, your videos won't appear in search results or appear in recommended lists just yet. And in my opinion in promoting a new channel, be ruthless about promotion. If you're getting started, don't shy away from the grunt work. Creating engaging content is only half of the process. You need to get ruthless and promote all the time, um, whether it's manual or hiring people to do it. And you can start simply. Start off with your Facebook friends, but start with class. Now what I mean is don't spam. Whatever you say in the Facebook comments, make sure it's valuable and meaningful. Ask them to share your video and then find out where your audience is hanging out and start targeting those sites. So for example, go to blogs that relate to your content and share your video or reply in the comments sections of related videos and ask people what they think. So for example, let's say there's a blog on lasagna. Okay, you can maybe say something along the lines. Um, hey, I just made a video recently on how to cook homemade lasagna. Let me know what you think um, and let me know if it works for you. And get people to answer you by asking questions, engaging with them and creating a community instead of just plumping down your link and hoping people will click on it. And my task for you on this point is stop wasting time looking for YouTube shortcuts. Instead, build a plan to promote your channel um, and start with manual tasks. And once you have some traction, you will see YouTube subscribers and organic traffic coming to your channel. And then my second point is follow the 7x4 content schedule, which I recommend for new channels. So obviously publishing videos frequently and consistently is key. And the best thing you can do with YouTube or any content creation for that matter is to make a lot of content consistently. So for example, I've made a video every day or at least every second day over the past three weeks, which has led to my growth of 450 subscribers. I know it seems like a lot of effort uploading every day or second day, but as a new channel, why I recommend it? Because it's a great way to get that boost and increase your chances of making or getting a video going viral and at the same time it helps you retain subscribers it allows people to expect your content which is favorable for view time which is then favorable for the youtube algorithm which then essentially youtube will start promoting your videos in the top feeds so the seven by four basically means seven videos a week four weeks in a month which means between 28 and 31 videos per month for a new channel and an older channel or more recognized channel can post between uh, one or two videos per week. Channels with higher watch time are more likely to turn up in search results and recommendations. That's why I believe your watch time is far more important than your subscriber count. And the first eight seconds of your video are probably the most important. The click away rate in these precious seconds um, is actually staggering and it determines or it can determine the rest of the watch time on your video. So for example, if you make music videos, start playing the music right away. Or if you are teaching something or explaining a product, start delivering the information right away. So what I'm saying is skip straight to the content and promote your channel at the end. Now this is something I can improve on as well. You'll see in some of my videos, I promote my channel in the beginning which actually has an effect on my watch time and I can see this in my studio dashboard. And these videos that I promote my channel in the beginning generally have less watch time than the rest. And shorten your intro, skip the flashy intro and theme music and make sure the first 8 seconds of your video hooks every single viewer. And then my fourth point which is a great way to get views and watch time is convert searches to subscribers with YouTube playlists. So obviously as a new YouTuber, you work pretty hard to acquire those first couple of views and subscribers and the viewers need to obviously search for a relevant keyword um, to see your video in the YouTube results 
and then obviously they click on your results which gets you your views. So to turn these casual viewers into subscribers, use playlists. These boost your content consumption, it retains your subscribers and boosts your watch time which essentially favors the YouTube algorithm where YouTube will then start promoting your videos to the top feeds. So for example, instead of creating miscellaneous playlists, for example in my case, um, let's say how to make money online, you want to create something like new to this channel, watch me first. Um, so in other words, treat your viewers as a cohort, segmenting your audience into groups of users that will move through your content. So on YouTube, I like to categorize the viewers into three different groups. Um, my first one, namely the new viewers. So you need to decide with them what content you want them to watch first. So these guys are the people that click on your channel for the first time and are new to your channel. And what do you want them to see first? And then secondly, your task oriented viewers. With these guys, you want to provide these viewers with educational content that will solve their problems. So what these viewers are is, they are the people that are subscribed to your channel, watching your videos, um, obviously, so they can get educated and solve their problems. And then my third group is top focus viewers. And for these guys, they are constantly watching your videos, um, always commenting, always engaging with you. And they also want to learn um, educational content to solve their problems. So the best way to approach these guys is to create a playlist that will comprehensively cover a specific topic. For example, let's say you're doing a programming course. Instead of creating a three or four hour video, you want to maybe create a playlist with 10 10 minute videos and you have different episodes, which is a great way to get more watch time and more views on your videos. And then my fifth strategy is expand your search network with Pinterest. Now, most of your subscribers will discover your channel either searching in Google or via the YouTube search bar. And Pinterest is also a very visual search engine, making it a perfect match for YouTube. So the great thing about Pinterest, it's just a great and extra way to extend your potential network, viewers, subscribers, and your watch time, and just generally getting your channel out there and attracting more of an audience. So your task for this is build an SEO focused Pinterest collection that will link back to your YouTube channel. So you can go into Pinterest, post a couple of videos with some neat descriptions, and it's just an extra way of people being able to find your videos. And then my sixth point, which I actually want to make a separate video on and test it, is add a mention in Amazon reviews. So let's say for example, your channel is in the electronic gear niche or covers topics around gardening. Leave reviews on popular Amazon products and mention your channel. Um, but unfortunately, according to Amazon's review guidelines, you're not allowed to use the URL links to external sites. So if you include your link, you will get banned. So let's say, for example, along the lines, you're into PC gaming. So what you want to do is go onto Amazon, search some of the most popular graphics cards. Okay. Um, and you can go into the comments and say, hey guys, I just started a channel um, recording and testing the performance of this graphics card. Let me know what you think of the performance and how games form um, on my YouTube channel called Millionaire Mind um, Fortnite Gaming or whatever it may be. And just gently promote your channel. So when I say gently promoting your channel, not spamming, just asking people, hey, do you mind checking out and letting me know what the performance is like? And I can promise you a lot more people will go to your channel through gentle promoting. And then my seventh tip is promote your channel with Facebook groups. So you can find relevant Facebook groups by searching um, whatever your niche is. So again, let's say um, making money online or gaming in Facebook search bar, and you can browse the different groups and interests. And you can also use Facebook's discovery feature to find some of the top groups. So let's say for example, if you sell local products, you can find local buy and sell groups. So your task for this is find 10 to 20 relevant Facebook groups and add a comment telling people about a YouTube video or your channel that you're proud of. And if you don't want to do this manual work, you can outsource a freelancer on a website such as Upworks or Fiverr. So this is just a great way and another social media platform to extend your audience and boost your network. And then my eighth strategy is promote with subreddits. So Reddit users organize themselves into subreddits. These are basically communities based around a topic or a niche. So you can find, let's say for example, 10 to 20 subreddits and tell people about your YouTube channel gently. And again, don't spam. So if your content is horrible or not relevant, or even if you are spamming, Redditors will make fun of you and most likely kick you out of the Reddits. So what you can do is find 10 to 20 subreddits and post a link to a YouTube video that you're proud of and ask people for their opinions or their thoughts or what they think of the performance of a graphics card um, or whatever it may be, for example. 
And then my ninth strategy is create searchable titles. Now this is an important step for when it comes to getting listed in the top YouTube searches where thousands and hundreds of thousands of people will see your video. So I'm going to show you how exactly how you can do this. So the best thing you can do is create YouTube titles and descriptions that have most relevant search items in them. So you can use a free tool such as the YouTube autofill and Tuba tools to find trending and popular titles and tags on YouTube, which you can use in your videos to then get listed in the top ranks. So your task for this is use YouTube's autofill feature and Tuba tools to create SEO friendly titles and descriptions to get that boost in the rankings. And then my 10th tip is translate popular videos. So it's obviously hard to find a winning YouTube formula, but once you hit gold, you need to focus on your efforts on replicating the success. So for example, after publishing a video after a few months, you're most likely to have a few videos that resonate and get a lot of views. And I recommend translating these videos to popular languages such as German, French, Spanish, or whatever it may be. And this helps you rank in international markets, gain free YouTube subscribers, and expand your reach. So it's always a good idea to add subtitles to every YouTube video as well. And then my 11th and final tip is expand your reach with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and other social media networks. So YouTube is a fantastic way to attract free subscribers and often what works on YouTube can also work on Facebook. And often what works on YouTube can also work on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter through means of video. So expand your reach by publishing your YouTube videos on different social media networks and including a link to your YouTube video. So you can use a free program or extension like Hootsuite where you can pretty much do this quickly. So you can use Hootsuite to upload and schedule your YouTube videos and then publish that same video to other video networks such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be. So your task for this, once you've mastered YouTube, or this even applies if you're a new YouTuber, republish your best video content to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So Hootsuite can help you there, letting you manage all your social media networks and videos from one fast platform. So comment down below what you think of these tips, if they are helping you or if, or if you think they will help you, or if there are any other ways that you're using to boost your YouTube channel. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new to receive some awesome content on how you can make money online and boost your social media network and succeed in your online business. But until then, take care and I'll see you in my next video.